Okay, salam alaikum. Welcome to another um, gaming stream. Um, let me see this here. Oh. So I had a change of mind. So I think I am going to go with Mountain Blade, Banner Lord. Thing is, it's still downloading. <laughs> It's like 35.78 gigabytes. Currently it's on 28.930. It nearly, it's nearly downloaded. It's about uh, 80%. Why is your gaming webcam better than your Hamza? Okay, so basically the one I do when I do a shop live is from my shop. And it's really bad internet and it's on my laptop. Whereas when I'm at home, this is my uh, proper camera with proper Wi-Fi and all. Not Wi-Fi, proper internet. Game's old though, I know, but for me it's new. Oh, 35%? No, 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 84% is on now. Uh, it looks better in, in your, your, than in your arena streams. No, 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 it's the same as my arena streams. Because it's fully. Yeah, we're gonna go with Banner Lord, a Mountain Blade Two. I haven't got a clue what to expect. Uh, I was gonna watch some videos and stuff on it, but I've decided I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it on and see what, see where, it, see what happens. I don't know. We're gonna try. If look, we're gonna we're gonna chuck a few hours into it. If we think it's rubbish, if we're not enjoying it, uh, if you find it boring, uh, then I can change the game. Is it a military strategy game? <clears throat> okay, so it's like a game where you start. Well, we'll be surprised. I think. I think if I'm not wrong, you start off as like a peasant in a village. And you got to slowly build up and you get your own village, get your own town, get your own followers, build armies, build castle, and then attack others, I think. I mean, we're leaving in Shrouded because it's not full access, so I'd rather play a game when it's completely done. Um... It's strategy, but you're also playing your own commander in the battles. There's real-time battles. You can plan out your troops. You have sieges, etc. Yeah, but I heard there's like RPG kind of aspect to it as well, ish. Because we've we've done Shadows of War, Shadows of Mordor, and then we did Greedfall. You know this kind of, you know, RPG flex. So I just fancy something a little bit different. We'll, we'll see, innit? It's nearly downloaded. It's supposed to be really good. Ben Benicra loves it. And it's multiplayer, apparently. Somehow. You can do PvP in it. I, I don't know. Yeah, because we nearly, we nearly binned Greedfall, didn't we? Alright. Let's get the game going. It's Bannerlord. Pen. Uh, give me one second. See, there's multiplayer, single player. Okay, well, this is weird. Why am I playing it in the actual? No, no, no. I can't do that. We have to move that over there. Right, let's do that. <laughs> that was weird. Right, 
one second properties greedfall mountain blade okay here we go uh, multiplayer we're not gonna do multiplayer mods we're not gonna add any mods right now let's just play as it is let's see what it brings mic up a tiny bit I think is it max is it max mate mic too low why is my mic low um, uh, mountain blade too I'm not hearing any sound of the game though I'm not hearing any sound of the game one second can you hear the sound of the game I can't hear I can't hear the sound of the game one second mm. oh and, uh, yeah headshot why am I not hearing the game yeah, why? Why am I not hearing the sound of the game? I don't get it. Hi, mm -hmm. Finet. No, now we're getting it. Um, just the exposed little point your preference using the slider. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. One second. We need to start this again. This is too loud. Uh, let's go back. It's, it's not letting me change the sound, man. The Pinet. Here we go.
gonna make me do it again. Right. I'm <laughs> gonna do this again. Right. Because I turned it down because it was so loud, but now it's fine. Right. You can hear me now, yeah? Can you hear me now? You can hear me now because I can see my mic. So that's working. Right. Round bloody three. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. Right, never need to watch that again. Okay, so Empire took over everything, crumble, breaking apart. Who do we... Let's choose our culture. Who are the Vlandians? The Vlandians are the descendants of adventurers from the West who lived under the Empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom. With the decline of imperial authority, they have evolved into a well-organized feudal society led by a caste of warlike nobles who prefer to fight with spears and lances and on horseback. 5% more renown from the battles, 50% more income while serving as a mercenary, 10% production bonuses to villages that are bound to castles. Recruiting lords to armies cost 20% more influence. Sturgeons are the descendants of the foreign tribes of northern Calradia. As the empire expanded into their cold forests, they found a ready market for the luxurious furs of woodland animals whom they traditionally hunted and trapped. Sturgeon chieftains become princes vying for preeminence with the help of Nord mercenaries who migrated into their realm. They are good hunters and wanderers traveling far in search of opportunities both for trade and for plunder like vikings aren't they recruiting and upgrading troops are 25 percent cheaper armies lose 20 percent less daily cohesion 20 percent more relationship penalty for kingdom decisions the empire the calradian empire is in decline even before the suspicious death of the emperor arenikos the once united realm was torn by political rivalries today these factions are in open war yet calradians endure the method 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 methodical study of defensive strategy in which garrison cities slow down invading forces until mobile feared armies can come to their rescue helps hold their neighbors at bay 20 percent less garrison troop wage being in an army brings 25 percent more influence village hearths increase 20 percent less I reckon we're going to be the Arabs, innit? We're going to be the Muslims. 
the Assyria, the inhabitants of the Nahasa Desert, a mixture of nomadic Bedouin and settled oasis farmers. They are famous for their horsemanship and their knowledge of the le learning of many lands, especially medicine, gained from lying on some of the continent's most lucrative trade routes. Each clan is fiercely proud of its lineage and often jealous of the others, but when united by a charismatic leader, they become a major force in the south. Caravans are 30% cheaper to build, 10% less trade penalty, no speed penalty on desert. Daily wages of troops in the party are increased by 5%. I like the look of those boys. We like the look of those guys. But these might be like the Turks, isn't it? The Kuzik Confederation of Steppes tribes, yeah. Used to be live a life, a nomadic life, but have recently settled in the eastern frontier of the empire and are slowly transitioning into an agrarian society with permanent town centres. Despite, despite this, they still retain many aspects of their nomadic life, including their affinity with horses. They are masters of mounted archery, shooting, and then galloping out of reach. This is like Genghis Khan, Mongol style, isn't it? Recruiting upgraded mounted troops is 10% cheaper. 25% production bonus to horse, mule, cow, and sheep in villages owned by Kuzate rulers. 20% less tax income from towns. And then the Batanians. The Batanians remember the olden days when the woods stretched across northern Calradia and the empire and its cities had yet to violate their sanctity. The fierce warriors remain loyal to their traditional ways. They paint their faces when they go to battle and even their noblemen prefer to fight on foot while they use great axes and two-handed swords with deadly efficiency. 50% less speed penalty and 50% sight range bonus in forests. Towns owned by Batanian rulers have a plus one militia production. 10% slower build rate for town projects in settlements. Okie dokie. Asiri. It's got to be the Arabs or the... Or the um, it's got to be the Arabs or the Turks, isn't it? I reckon the, I reckon the Bedouins, yeah. Let's go with these guys. Okay. Oh, easy tiger. Flipping neck. Um, just do your face, mate. Flipping neck. These flipping pants. Put some pants on, mate. All right. Um, let's do what we do. <laughs> uh, face depth. It doesn't change that much, does it? doesn't change much do, do, do. really good to all this eyebrow depth please eye size eye shape Wow, eye colour. Ah, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Big nose. Gotta be a big nose, isn't it? This is. <laughs> uh, mouth width. Mouth position. Really? It's a bit intense, isn't it? Um, hair. What should we do with hair? Are we going to try and make it look like me? Uh, we're not going to. We're not going to braid you, dude. We're not going to braid you. Can we just have like a flipping thingy haircut, man? No. No. Flipping. We're not going to have a flipping. What's his name? What's that guy who used to play for uh, Man City? Forget him. I think we need to give the geezer a beard, man, because he's doing the Harrodin without the beard, isn't it? Whoa, easy 
Magneto. Uh, now we get now, now we get a picture. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Is that the right haircut though? <laughs> Should we go for a mad haircut like that? Should we go for a mad haircut? Yeah, Julian Lescott, that was it. Look at that. We're not doing the Julian Lescott. Oh, the Tash, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um... Whoops. Um, I think he's got to have a tash. They don't know about that. It is what it is. Got to have a CKO beard. Or maybe that. Maybe that. Yeah. The one in the middle has no tash. Well, that one. That's not too bad. That one. Oh no, that, no, that looks terrible, man. That looks terrible. No, I need, I need, I need a beard. I need a beard. medium beard okay that'll do yeah that's that's fine let's go with that all right we don't need to give any markings do we do we give any markings she give a scar she go with a scar Yeah, are we happy with that? Are we, are we gonna be are we gonna be mean then or what? Let's have a look. Oh, that's, a, that, that's a mean one, isn't it? That's a booty, isn't it? That uh, that be a booty. That's cool. I don't want to be blind. Yeah, that, that's cool. I like that. I like that. Give him his hair back. Oh, there he go. Easy tiger. Um, you want to get? I, I want to give him a mad haircut like that. It's like someone said, "You're going to be wearing a helmet anyway." Home Alone vibes. Should we go with this? I'm going to go with this. Right. Just start the game. No. Right. You were born into a family of... Kinsfolk of the Emir. Your family were from a smaller offshoot of an Emir's tribe. Your father's land gave him enough food to afford a horse... But he was not quite wealthy enough to buy the armor needed to join the heavier cavalry. He fought as one of the light horsemen for which the desert is famous. 
10 skill levels and one focus point to riding and throwing one attribute point to endurance okay warrior slaves your father was part of the slave bodyguards maintained by the Asari emirs he fought by his master side with tribes armored cavalry and freed perhaps for an act of valor or perhaps he paid for his freedom with his share of the spoils of battle he then married your mother 10 skill levels and one focus point into riding and pole harm one attribute into point to vigor urban merchants your family were respected traders in an oasis town they ran caravans across the desert and were experts in the finer points of negotiating passage through the desert tribes territories 10 skill levels and one focus point to trade and charm it's got to be that in it got to be a merchant trade and charm i like that I, li I, li I like trade and charm your family tiled the soil one of the oasis of nahasa, nahasa and tended the palm orchards and produced the desert famous fight dates your father was a member of the main foot levy of his tribe fighting with his kinsmen of the emir's banner 10 skill levels and one focus point to athletics and one-handed one attribute point to endurance i like merchant i like merchant you are family part of a nomadic clan crisscrossing the waste between wadi beds and wells to feed their herds of goats and camels on the scraggly scrubs of nahasa 10 skill levels and one focus point to scouting and bow one attribute point to cunning hmm. your father worked for a fitui one of the strong men who keep in order the poor court of the oasis towns he resolved disputes over land dice and insults imposing his authority with the fitui's traditional staff 10 skill levels and one focus point to roguery and pole arm oh what we're we going with guys kind of like that as well i like the merchant and i like that i think i like the merchant though too overwhelming <laughs> apple t's got too many choices <coughs> Too much to think about i think the merchant i think i like the merchant i'll be honest i like the i like the point of trade and charm yeah i like the merchant i'm gonna go in merchant oh flipping heck i will see this is too much for you as a child you were noted for your leadership skills if the wolf put gang of your early childhood had an alpha, it was definitely you. All the other kids followed your lead as you decided what to play and where to play and led them in games of mischief. Yeah, that's it. You don't need to look at anything else. <laughs> don't, don't even have to look at anything else. Growing up, you spent most of your time at the town's watch training ground. You watched the town's watch practice shooting and perfect their plans to defend the walls. Ten skill levels, one force point to crossbow and tactics. The gang leaders who kept watch over the slums of Caledonian cities were always in need of poor youth to run messages back in their turf wars, while thrill-seeking merchants, sons and daughters sometimes slummed it in their company as well. Ten levels into a point to roguery and one-handed. All towns had the share of projects that were constantly in need of both skilled and unskilled labour. You learned how hoists and scaffolds were constructed, how planks and stones were hewn. One ten skill levels and one focus point to athletics and smithing. You help your family handle their business affairs, going down to the marketplace to make purchases and oversee the arrival of caravans. Ten skill levels and one focus point to trade and charm. Should we keep enhances our trade and charm? Oh, trade is awful in the game. I think uh, I, li I like the I like the charm side. You out your family arranged for a private tutor and you took full advantage reading voraciously on history, mathematics and philosophy and discussing what you read with tutor and classmates. Ten skill levels, one went into engineering and leadership. Oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. Your family owned a few horses at the town stables, and you took charge of their care. Many evenings you would take them out on the walls and gallop through the fields. No, I like I like I think I like this one. I think I like this one. Are we happy with that? What do you reckon? One ten skill and one went into engineering and leadership. One attribute point to intelligence. It's gotta be that, isn't it? Oh my god, we're still going! Apple T! Apple T's eyes. Oh my god, for the game! <laughs> okay. As a youngster growing up in Colorado, war was never too far away. You trained with the cavalry. 
You could never have bought the equipment on your own, but you were a good enough rider, so the local lords lent you a horse and equipment. You joined the armor cavalry training with the lance. Ten skill levels, one point to riding and pole arm. Urban troops spent much of their time guarding the town walls. Most of their training was in missile weapons. Ten skill levels and one focus point to boat and engineering. One attribute point to intelligence. Mm. All of Calvary's kingdoms recognize the value of good light cavalry and are sure to recruit nomads and borderers with their skill to fulfill those duties. You were a good enough rider that your neighbors pitched in to buy you a small pony and a sheaf of javelins so that you could fill their levy obligations. Ten skill levels and one focus point to riding and bow. One attribute into endurance. Trained with the infantry. Levy armed with spear, shield drawn from small holding farmers have always been the backbone of most armies. Skills into pole arm and one handed. Join the younger crews out of the site of build, or those two bought by a shield and armor tend to join the skirmishers. Fighting with bow and javelin, they try to stay out of reach of the main enemy forces. Hmm. You have already serviced one of the main forces of your realm's armies, but follow instead of the, in the train the troops, wives, lovers, and servants, and those who make their living by caring for, entertaining, and cheating the soldiery. Ten skill levels to roguery and throwing, one attribute point to cunning. Hmm. Road with the scouts, dragon. Riding and bow. Alright. Oh man, you ain't got no hurt now! Before you set out for a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was not everyone musters for the levy marches to war, and not everyone who goes on campaign sees action. You did both, and you also took down an enemy warrior in direct one to one combat in the full view of your comrades. Ten skill levels, one point into one handed and two handed, one attribute to point to vigor, one to plus one to valor, twenty two renown. Your family needed some trustworthy to take a caravan to a neighboring town. You organized supplies and showed a constant watch to keep away bandits and brought it safely to its destination. Ten skill levels to tactics and leadership. One to parting to cunning. One to calculate. I, I, like, I like that. 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 Choose your story background. Okay, flipping heck. <coughs> this is really setting the scene, isn't it, man? Okay. Like many families in Calrida, your life was impended by war, though your home was ravaged by the passage of an army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer, but you did not make it. Along the way at the inn you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two younger siblings seized, but you and your brother survived because you subdued a raider. You were able to grab a knife in the confusion of the attack and you stabbed the raider blocking your way. Ten skill levels, one plus point to one-handed and athletics. You grabbed the bow and sent a few arrows of raiders away. They took cover, giving you opportunity to flee with your brother. Jumping on two remaining horses in the inn's burning stable, you and your brother broke out of the in encircling raiders and rode off. In the confusion of the attack, you shouted that someone had found treasure in the back room. You then made your way out of the undefended entrance. Ten skills into roguery and tactics and one attribute to cunning. You encouraged the few travellers in the inn to break out in a coordinated fashion. Raiders killed the catcher most, but you and your brother were able to escape. Ten skill levels to leadership and charm, and one attribute to point to social. Uh, you organised travellers to break out. I like that. Ah, oh, mad! It's like a book in it. You prepare to set off with your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here is your character. Continue if you're ready to go or make changes. Enter your name. Culture Asseri. Caravans are 30% cheaper to build, 10% less trade penalty, no speed penalty on desert. Daily wages of troops in the party are increased by 5%. Family Urban Merchants. 10 skill levels and one possible to trade and charm, one attribute point to social. Early childhood, ten skill. Okay, we know we've done all that. We know. That. Okay, let's do it. Determine the game difficulty.
That's what I just, it's my man rank call. Go easy. We're not doing easy. We do realistic. We do. We don't do hard. We do realistic. Yeah. What about this auto allocate clan member perks and Iron Man mode? What does Iron Man mode mean? Oh, here we go. Iron Man mode limits you to a single save file. It automatically saves when you quit the game. This option cannot be changed later. No, 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 no. We say we want to save as we do this. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's fine. I know, Brother, Mustafa. It's been three days now we've been checking these bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. I'm going to run the course. I need to know I can fight if I have to. Yeah. Let's go on. You can. All right. So it's the same keys as. Um... Oh, but wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. Can we? Um... Can we use our controller? Is the question. Yeah, we can use that controller. We like that. We like that. Who's making all the bloody noise? Oh, these guys. Yeah, this is the first time playing. Shall I play with a mouse or play with a with a controller? This is swords. This is horse. This is spear. Two. Let's try it. Let's let's try it. Let's try the mouse. It's like Ark and Daisy and all that. Sounds like Abu Tea in the background, man. Flipping egg. Can't even, can't even throw. Flipping egg. Throw the flipping vase, mate. <laughs> Hold left mouse. Oh, I see. Ah, that makes sense. So the longer you hold it, the more accurate. Tigers left. Where's the two tigers left? Oh, I see. Oh, we gotta beat the flipping stupid windmill. Shift to zoom with the camera. Okay, cool. 
All right, we're happy with that. We don't, we don't need to do that anymore. Oh, what's this? Bow. Okay, let's do some bow training. Sa same thing? Yeah. Yeah, I like the bow. I like the bow! A crossbow! Ooh! Let's try the crossbow, man. I like a crossbow. Where's my controller? <laughs> oh, it's also... I think I prefer my controller. I don't think we're going to do much of this. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like this. I'm not used to this whole thing. Yeah, this is um, t tutorial basically. Jump horse. Oh, can, oh, the horse can jump. Wow. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, 
Easy. I've lost the camera now. So you have to use the A, the boost on the keyboard. I uh, don't like the keyboard. Oh, for God's sake. Imagine if this was a flipping geezer with a crossbow attacking me. Right, I've messed the camera angle up. That's the problem. So you go the way you're facing, okay. Pfft. Oh man. My sentiments exactly, mate. I think the horse riding gets a little bit, you need to get a little bit used to it, man. I think we just get into the game, man. I've got a controller. I don't know how you get out of first person view. How, I don't know how to pop myself in first person view. What did I just get? What did I do to pop myself in first person view? No, no, no. The problem is stupid first person, yeah. You're right. Get off the flipping horse, man. Yeah, how do, we're in first person view. How do we get out of this flipping first person view? Toggle camera mode. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't want to be a jouster. I don't want to train. I really don't want to train. I'll have a fight with someone's sword, but flip it, eh? I'll have a fight with one of these guys. I 
don't understand. Defend from the left. He's not attacking me. He's not, he's not attacking me. What the hell is that supposed to be? Move joystick to the left before clicking. Oh, there we go. I don't like I don't like tutorials. I don't want to enter the train here. I want to leave. I want to leave. I want to just leave. Yes, let's just leave. Let's just get with the bloody game. Um, B leave. Before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better rider than I'm, so let you lead the way. Let's go. You can explore the world map by using moving the One second. So you can move it like that. And how do you zoom in and out? Oh, let's use the mouse in it to move. Okay. <coughs> Moving your party is done by hovering the indicator on the map and pressing A. This will leave a mark on the target location unless you've load. Let's set off to Tavia. Okay. So how did we zoom in and out though? With the with the controller. Ah, okay. Left and right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we're so we select our guy, and then we, s is it? Oh no, no, we select where we're going. Tevia, clan, uh, faction, southern empire, culture empire. Hers, pleasure, defenders, okay. You have arrived at Tavia. To explore the location, you can enter the center by pressing the highlighted button on the left. Take a walk around. Now we're here, I guess. So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The Ed Man here can probably help us. Let's try to find him. Speak to the Head Man. You can. Hold LB to see the location of the headman. What's your name for his Y? Be red. 
dead vibes. I'll do get off the horse. Oh, that was it. I'm Orthon, head man of this place. What brings you here? We got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. Let's turn that sound up, isn't it? We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who'll join you in going after them if you'll take to their gear. I'll make your preparations and approach me again. You may have a task to do if you're going after them. To leave a mission, you can hold down B. This will return you to the settlement menu where you can purchase supplies and hire recruits. Okay. So are we... Let me just change the sound a second because I don't think you heard that it was a bit low that uh, the voices maybe okay so do we press B recruit troops Notables, you help you recruit more and better higher level troops according to your relation with them. Move troops into your party by pressing A while the cursor is on their portraits. Purchase supplies to the settlement. Um, how much money we got? Oh, I've got a thousand gold. Okay, so. Buy everything in it. Oh, wait there. Do we buy stuff then? Yeah, we do. We finish up. We finish up operations. Let's talk to the headman again. He said he may have a task for us. We could use his friendship. Okay. to see you found what you need. Now, about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time. Name of Tactics. Treats people for free. <laughs> We're fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, so wouldn't tell us much. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through it. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. I'm worried about him. If we can keep an eye out for him, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive and well, I'll tell you a little more about his quest.
What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, so I'm going to rescue my uh, brother and sister apparently. But I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Where we're supposed to be going, what we're supposed to be doing. We said have a walk around. Before you go, Rankle, what am I supposed to be doing? Relax, relax, stupid horse. Can't get out of this bloody. Where's the quest? Where's the quest? Alright. Uh, where... Oh, that's encyclopedia, so forget that. Um... But it's not that. How do I suit my quest, sir? How do I suit my quest, sir? I can't even see anything. It's a tutorial. Do I have to go talk to this geezer again, maybe? Oh, wait there, wait there, wait there. There you go, who's that? Oh, fuck. Oh, bloody hell, stop riding into fences, man. Oh, it's disabled. What? What's the arrows for? Oh my god, this is doing my nothing. Really annoying me. Like I said, what's the tutorial? Well, how to ride a horse? we doing we recruited troops with bike products we, we did that we bought everything they had
I don't have any weapons at all. Of Sumter. Common saddle. Oh, the... Okay. Okay, that's my battle outfit. That's my thingy outfit. All right. Do you see the scroll icon in the left down here? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Ah, oh, right. Look around the village to find the party that captured the traveler. Okay. 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 We've got to locate and rescue the traveller. Look around the village. Okay, okay, all right. That makes sense. Now it makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. Arrow helping me. The party's outside and has yellow. these guys okay 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 they're not in the village they're around the village Is that what that arrow is? Okay. Oh no, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Open it. Oh! So don't press the B button. Don't press the B button. Spare me a second. Yeah, no, 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 I'm still in the village. I, I'm just trying to work out how to make my horse sprint. Or is that sprinting?
Oh, is it? Hey, Vicero's here! Yay! Everything's alright now. What am I supposed to be doing, man? Where are these bloody bandits or whatever they are? Are these arrows supposed to be helping me? I've not been reading the chat, mate. I need to know the the, um, the mechanics here, man. Am I supposed to travel to here? Or not? No. No. Hit B, yeah? Yeah, we're supposed to do this tutorial. How do I travel? It's not allowing me to move. Do I have to select on the guy? What? I might have to watch a video on this. Let me just go get my poops. Right, I'm just eating my food. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the chat when Visceral tells me what to do. Hit B. Okay. Do you know what's supposed to happen? I'm just having a uh, burger, some onion rings, and some cheesy chips. Well, that was just using the mouse. I'm kind of, I'm trying to flitting in between at the moment. Ah. 
They moved. <laughs> okay. Now what? Um, now, now I'm in their vicinity, yeah? Okay. Horrible burger, man. On my command! This is technical, isn't it? Wheel to enemy! Move! Why is it going slow motion? <coughs> Why is it slow motion? Why is it going in slow motion?
Oh, it's not downloading. Yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible. Okay. Um, yeah. Forget that. <laughs> Can't be bothered. No, that, that, that was terrible. With that kind of game, I need to sit and watch somebody who shows you what to do and how to do it. Yeah, I know it's a good game. You just got to get past the learning curve. <coughs> I get that, but I'm not in the mood to start. <coughs> Once I, um, I think what I'm going to do with that game, I will play it, but I'm not going to play it live. I'm going to play it initially just learning the script. I think because that was that was annoying. I think it's just not knowing the key commands. How to switch weapons and stuff like that. Put it on the back burner, slowly forget about it. No, 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 we're not going to do that. We don't give up that easy. I think I can enjoy that game once I understand the dynamics of it. There's many games I've played that other people watch you play and they're like, what the hell are you doing? Like Heroes of Might and Magic, really, really good game. I'm going to go pray. Speak to you soon.
Right, I'm going to put my glasses. <sighs> Bismillah. Right, 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 right. Right, is it banishes or is it enshrouded? Because I got both. What'd you say? Burnishes are enshrouded. Is it enshrouded because it's it's uh, early access? 
and it might be a bit headachey. Not headachey, but not, not the full game. Enshrouded, enshrouded. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's see. Banishes is set in a place and era known for their proverbial intolerance. Some situations of abuse depicted throughout the game tie into the oppression experienced by visible and invisible minorities during these times. While suggested by historical events, this game is a work of fiction and liberties have been made taken for dramatization purposes. Okay. Uses an auto save system, that's good. Story, easy, normal. What did you do, Abuti? What did you go for? Normal or hard? We play on hard then, innit? If Apple T's doing hard, we're doing hard. I'm not gonna ponce about doing normal when Apple T's rocking it as hard. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Dear. A good day Apple to you, tea, my love. man. What the flipping hell you put us on? And a good day to you too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? 
The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Oh, we've got to start playing, I think. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. I should have changed the title, isn't it, to banish us? Come on, Antea, we need to go. I need to be. <laughs> Shall I restart the stream? Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Oh, crap, I didn't change the title. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red. The greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. I think I want to switch the light off, so I don't think I'm going to have my camera on. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Controller or...? It's gotta be controller, innit? I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail, somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. <laughs> no such place. But it's not a bad idea. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Looks steady enough.
Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Just one second. I can break my way through here. Already stuck. Why is it telling me to break stuff? I don't know. I missed the bloody end of it. Right. So. Okay. Ah, right. <laughs> Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Behind you! Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever 
This doesn't board well. Time to leave for good. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date, I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again and the golden wheat fields would re-ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits tuck us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run! These people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Can't brighten up the screen. It's night time, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? That all goes badly for the case. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. One second. Let's see if we can make it brighter. Is it the gamma? The gamma. Ah, oh, there we go, the gamma. Let's try that. Is that better? Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching, if you're up for it. Always. Committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open minded as Charles. It's gotta be the inn, innit? This must be the inn. Hmm. 
Jolly, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume... Keep dating, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. <coughs> Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. <coughs> My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave, or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do this, not know what so engine, tragically so cost him his life. What do you think happened? Could your physicians not save him? What do you think happened? I could guess, to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation no, of the curse. This game is 2024. It was last week or absence, came out. I try in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. The house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. 
Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements. Anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the path through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding <coughs> of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. No, we're gonna and the what story. have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Perhaps we may come to you for advice. Please do, madam. For I would be only too glad to give it. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, so, the story so far. We've arrived in New Eden. We was invited by our friend Charles, who was a banisher, I'm assuming, to sort out the curses on this area. We've arrived. He's is dead, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to find out why he's dead. Um, we don't know what that crazy woman with the gun was doing, and I don't know where she went. I don't know that other guy, that kind of sheriffy looking guy, I don't know what he was all about. Um, and we've got the geezer's missus. So uh, I think we're gonna go speak to the geezer's missus. Unless we go to our, our base. If we've got a base. Have we got a base? I think we've got a base. Right, so that's telling you where the mission, the main mission is, isn't it? He's still here. Anything else to say? Governor? How may I be of service to you? Nothing. Goodbye. Oh. What can no, you no, tell no, me no, about no, the no, curse? No, no. I can tell you that it was put in. What do you think called... In my humble... We've heard all that. Our contract we've heard it all. We've heard it all flipping it. Goodbye. I'll go now. I'll still be here if you need me. Alright. We don't need you. We don't need you. So, should we have a look upstairs? Okay, 
that room was locked. Can we break locked doors? No, 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 no. So they're all locked, these doors. What's that? Pieces of eight! So, right, so these rooms are all locked. These the rooms seem to be all locked. Anything over here that we can pick up? Loot. Channel our Hogwarts character. No? Alright, let's go. Come on, Red. Do I have to talk to Red? No. Oh, what's this? As announced as the last town meeting, last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King Arms Tavern, leaving the key to the selectmen. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and so are the bedrooms. God bless Charity Crooked. Okay, so that tells us why all the rooms upstairs were locked. Okay, we get that, we get that, we get that. Compass indicates the direction Charles. and distance towards an objective. Those accursed sea storms. Follow the yellow mark to meet with Esther. Here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people are idiots if they believe prayer will save them. on the door. <sighs> Not like Andrea, Red. the Sade just walks in. <clears throat> Come in. <laughs> so this is Charles's uh, widow. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you. His friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. 
We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles' interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Okay. Do you know them? Huntress I find the thick gun. skin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said that time and God have not yet healed. Okay. So we've got to look at his papers we'll now. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. You have unlocked your first hint about the person it is linked to. You can refer to these hints in any given moment through your haunting cases menu. Okay. So, understand why Charles lingers. Inventory. Spectral dust. Okay, investigate the study, investigate the bedroom. Why? She only one out of two. Mm. A new Scotch tune in G major by Henry Purcell. Mm. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? These days, I lack the heart to play. I believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are phenomena perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer, but it, be it sorcery, the presence of an echo, or something else entirely, we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has so little presence in the new world. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Yours truly, Eleanor Combs. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Esther. I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Oh. Goodbye! We'll keep looking around, if that's all right. I'll be here if you need me. Sir. 
Sadness in the Interval or a Study of the Aeolian Scale by Henrik Pietri. A study of H. Purcell's Chaconi in G minor for strings. Hmm. He's going on about music a lot, isn't he? <coughs> my beloved Esther, how I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of our marriage was to buy heart as a delicacy on my plate, a sweet of which one cannot tire. At last... We shall be together and together forever and ever, until the day many years from now when we are old and at last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I am sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. That's why he's still here, because he's still in love with the woman. <laughs> my sweet Esther, I can't tell you how long I had to get home. This work in the Mystic Scotch Islands is exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this, but when I see the pride in your eyes, then I know what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything as long as you look at me with that spark that is only yours. I am thinking of your love forever, Charles. I'm pretty sure. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Still goodbye. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. Well, we've already if he's this. here, you can count on it. We'll yeah. start with Charles. Is oh, thank oh, you. Yeah, we know, we know, we know this. We know all this. We'll keep looking around, if that's all right. I'll be here if you need me. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Oh yeah. Who's Mr. Bachelor? Have we read this one? Esther, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbours hold you in their hearts. There's more to learn here. Okay. Alright. So we've looked there. We've looked at those two musical things. We've spoken to her. Did we read that letter? I think we read that letter, didn't we? What's that? How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Oh, it just saved. It just, it just... Where were you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. <laughs> it's very kind, but a long day ahead of us. Charles is still here, and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. A precious king from a chess set, protected by a glass thong. Is That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favourite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He was a good man. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Poor 
Oh, tickly titum with the by Alfonso de Swing. I mean, I don't know if you, are you supposed to look at everything? Uh, is some stuff just random? Or is it just getting, okay. oh, there we go. Job 1315, I'm presuming this is the Bible. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifies me through visions, so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm? What do all these dreams have in common? Are they promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what causes anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest, and this cannot perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot write from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial. The shame of it. How have I failed my dear husband? I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you who loved him should know of his passing. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Uh... Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Okay. Three jumps of hammer oil and caramel oil infusion before sleep. Wintergreen to rub between palms and behind ears three times a day. Yeah, this is just random stuff now, isn't it? Low children are in the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of thy womb is in his reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are just random stuff. Can we speak to her again? Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on How into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. We must make our way to the cemetery. Charles is Please be careful, dear Antea. 
or as we like to call him, Casanova Charles. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You be all right? I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around, see what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye, you too. It'd be one of the banishers then? Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your name, I have forgotten it. Antea Duarte. You may happen upon my companion, Red McGraith, about the place. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The Minister said you'd have questions. Well? Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbors, someone must have let the evil in. Someone always does. I understand banishers often trade with the forces of evil. We do not trade. We deliver. A haunting may be caused by the errors of the living, but a ghost gets no mercy. Charles, Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Relax, uh, Abuti. We're investigating. Warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. 
Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Tell me about the curse, if you will. I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. What I need right now is information about okay, the Okay, so he's a merchant. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too. So much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry spectres and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for it's your good. time. Okay. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. Come in it. 
Who said that? Who said that? Can we talk a minute? Who said that? Someone said, can we talk a minute, didn't they? It wasn't you. That was weird. Somebody said, can we talk a minute? And yet, there was nobody there. Was that crazy old woman again? And we just go around in a circle. Why have we gone around in a circle? Why can't we get to that cemetery? Oh, it's a different old woman. Ghost. A wisp, so close to town. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. safe here. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. This has got the same kind of feel as um, Greedfall, man. Pick it up with hoof fungus. What was that? Why's your, why's your as a banisher you can file places feel places of objects that have been marked by ghosts when in close proximity to these elements your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura walk around to find the source okay I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. Pyrite and seashore. Okay. Okay, so should we go back to that Seashore merchant? candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. A little more. Oh, we've got some pyrites. I'll 
slap. Right, so we've got the pyrite. Where'd you get the seashore candle? So this is pyrites. Oh. No. There should be seashore candle near the water. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Oh right, so it's a flower. Okay, now we know what it is. So me looking at candles was pointless. I don't know if it's open world. Only uh, a butinos. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell! No ties! No purpose! No. But neither do you. She killed him. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it?
Child's Bible found half buried in the mud on the cemetery is open at job 70, 7, 13, 15. Yeah, that's what we read before. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. I thought he was an old guy. He didn't look so young. And here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? Meant to be an old man. What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. And hey, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time to have had the chance to warn you. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They... vanished. In the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead and dead. So much sickened flesh. 
so many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Gray hair. It's not gray hair. It's a brown hair. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seems amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther. I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll we'll grow stronger. Him out. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. Oh, he wants you to know fight. this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine We're gonna mentor. fight him. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your soul. Oh, wait. I thought we were gonna have to fight him. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it.
The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Escort Esther home. Not now. Oh, did it save? Ugh. We need to end the stream. Oh, let's walk around. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's. Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace and you deserve to rest. Why are we running? This war woman, you... Is she running because I'm running? No, she's not. Is she running because I'm running or is she running because she wants to run? What the hell? Yeah, get jogging, man. Flip that out. What am I coming in? What am I coming in for? I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Join Red at the schoolhouse. Not tonight. Now we can save the game. Okay, so Apple T was right. This was the choice of game we should have gone with in the first place. Yeah, it was a good choice of game. Um, and we are going to do the storyline. We are going to follow everything. We are going to act like this is a, we don't know what the hell's going on. And, you know, imagine you're in your scenario. You arrive there. There's this curse. You're going to ask people about it. How it happened. What happened? What's the cause of it? Are you suffering from it? And all of these things. So, yeah, I did, I did like it. So we, this is our game, uh, Banishers. So this is what we're going to continue with. Inshallah. I'm just going to go play some Daisy now. But other than that, Inshallah, I'll catch you next time for the gaming. Um, depending on what happens tomorrow, I might continue um, tomorrow. Um, inshallah. We, sh we shall see. Um, yeah, I'll get some sleep. S sleeps for the week. No, no, no. I'll get some sleep. I'm going to go and... Um, I had to do a little bit of Daisy fence building. Think. find some nails stuff i don't know anyway i think uh, are the boys still playing let me just see if the boys are still playing because yusuf ponders is back in daisy mashallah finally it's just sad that carter's not there but it is where it is can't do anything about it who's <laughs> so anyone's playing clots is playing and sharp is playing so yusuf's signed off now but the other three are playing so i'm gonna go jump on there they're probably going to the airfield or something all right, guys, um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I'll see you for Shop Live tomorrow, inshallah, probably for an hour. And then um, maybe we'll get another gaming stream tomorrow, inshallah. The game looks good, even the reviews are good. Yeah, 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 yeah. inshallah. We're going to continue with it, Banishes. Um, great shot by Abu T. Until tomorrow, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There is no lion.